chapter 2 of every destiny because of time please i'm sorry i have to run about it chapter 2 of every destiny is called birth birth b i r t h birth once upon a time it was a conception once upon a time it was just an idea once upon a time it's an imagination once upon a time you were a seed in your mother's womb but you will not remain in the womb forever hallelujah the womb is a controlled environment where although is an individual that is being formed but that individual does not have an opinion of his own yet Beth, Beth, Beth. This is where the real separation from men happen, because everybody can have conception. I know people who have been describing that kind of the I will be so great. The kind of things I will do in this, they have the plan, the ability to domesticate your hand and bring it, force it from the realms of imagination into your physical reality. That's what separates people from others. I have dreamt that I saw myself in one very clean restaurant, one five-star eatery. I, I was the owner. What are you doing about it? You wrote it in a book since 2005 and closed the book. Uh -uh. After conception, there's another chapter. It's called bet. You bet what has been conceived. You bet what has been conceived. It was in your thought. Now you are trying to look for channels, ways to force that which is only in your mind into reality. Have you ever stood up one day by yourself and went to make confirmations? Make confirmations about how much it will take to get a place, the kind of place you are looking for. Let me tell you something. Every child that you saw, every child you are looking at, once upon a time the child was just a seed in the mother's womb. No path. But when you continue to meditate and brood over your idea, the idea keeps getting clearer and clearer. You begin to improve on it add more details yesterday you only wrote restaurant business today you now wrote restaurants and catering service tomorrow you now said the seats inside my eatery will be green I, I love color green the one vision that was once a seed is getting branches is getting more colors and details next tomorrow you said i want to situate it around banawa axis it, all these details was not there before right your meditation of your vision is beginning to give more colors and parts to it ha hallelujah no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't see that coming after me John chapter 16 verse 21 quickly John chapter 16 next phase is birth birth next chapter of every destiny John 16 21 I want everybody to read it together if you can see the board one two go hallelujah he's rowdy let's do it please together one two three go when she is in travail had sorrow because her hour is come but as soon as she is delivered of the child she remembered no more that wish for joy that a man is born into the world listen a woman when she is in travail travail means when she is in labor when she's about to give birth pastor onu when he is about to bet what he has conceived in his mind pastor onu the season where his imaginations are about to be forced into reality the bible says he will enter a, a a description called sorrow god is speaking to somebody you don't know why you you are trying to make plan for the dream to happen then it looks like things are getting worse she enters a season called what sorrow i'm going to i'm going to set up one one very good brand I'm going to design as you are talking. Then the customers who used to patronize you before, now that you have conceived an idea and you are trying to brand your product and step up, 
then customers and patronage just drop. She enters into a season called. So, give me another translation, probably the message or amplified. Let me show us what this picture is saying. For some of you, your, your spirit will leap for joy immediately. You will know what chapter of your destiny you are currently in. Let's read together. One, two, go. When a woman is in labor, she has pain because her time has. It means there are certain pain in life that is because your time has come. What's the time? At least for a man, for a human being that they use this illustration for, it takes nine months for the seed to mature, for the vision, for the imagination to become clear enough to be released into the physical realm. It takes nine months. Nine months! Hand will become formed, legs will be formed. And the vision becomes well defined. Then the woman will push it out after nine months. It means that there are seasons of your visions and your dreams that it will remain in your mind keep brooding on it don't rush don't go and prematurely give birth when you give birth your baby can look like a tadpole can look very funny just one eye few ah. take your time elephants take 365 days to know that the time has come for man, it takes nine months to know that the time has come. The size of your vision is directly proportional to the time taken to bet it. When other people are betting theirs, don't think you are behind time. I'm challenging that lie right now. Other people have gone ahead. Don't think you are behind time. It's a sign of what you are carrying inside you. Mosquito can pass me an elephant and say, My sister, you see the pregnant. Me, I I, <laughs> I don't even give birth to Junior and, and in brother. Mosquitoes give birth in a week. Matter of this. It will be an error when an elephant is comparing himself with a mosquito. There are unfortunately very tiny things happening in people's life and you lose your peace because of this. Why you are carrying a massive destiny that will take longer for the child to form? Take time. Take time. Because the truth is eventually everybody will go through pain to bet their destinies. And scripture says when a woman is in labor, she has pain because her time has come. But when she has given birth, it means there is a time where you will not even have any answer. You will think God is against you. You will think nothing is working. But Spirit began to show us that when she gives birth, she remembers the pain no more. Oh, the overwhelming never.